Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the truth about Mila Kunis's toxic relationship with Macaulay Culkin. Let's get right into it. Before Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher made us believe in love again, and before Macaulay Culkin transformed his life by marrying Brenda Song and having a child, Kunis and Culkin had their own relationship. Kunis and Culkin's relationship is one celebrity romance that we often overlook. We forget that they were together for nearly a decade and that their relationship was relatively low-key until it ended in 2011. Following Kutcher's divorce from his wife, Demi Moore, Kunis fell in love with her That 70s Show co-star, Kutcher. Both Kunis and Culkin are happy now, but does Kunis regret ever dating the Home Alone star? Kunis and Culkin began dating in 2002, and surprisingly, they were able to keep the details of their relationship relatively private for the most part. We don't even know how they met, but they started dating around the time Kunis was 18 and Culkin was 21. Since they were so young when they first dated, Kunis told Women's Health, We grew up together. You find a steady rock in your life, and that's all you need. We have our ups and downs, but work through them. The press were all over Culkin during this time due to his fame as a child star, so the couple definitely felt the strain from the paparazzi. When they called it quits in 2011, it was thought to be amicable. Kunis later talked about her relationship with Culkin to Howard Stern in 2016 and said that all the media attention was crazy. She said, he was huge. You couldn't walk down the street with him. She then added, he always had this weird attraction. Like fans just screamed when they saw him. They didn't know how to react. It wasn't like a normal response to a celebrity. Fans responded in a very abnormal way to him, but all the weird attention wasn't the only thing that ruined the couple's relationship. Kunis went into greater detail about how her relationship with Culkin ended when she appeared on Dax Shepard's podcast, Armchair Expert. Her breakup from Macaulay was described as horrible. She said, I f***ed up. She then added, I was an a** in my 20s, and I'll be the first to admit it. And that's something that took me a long time to come out and be like, yeah, you know what? I was a and accept it, and I own it now. She didn't go into how she messed things up with Culkin, but continued, and it's f***ed up what I did, and it's f***ed up how I did it. When I got to be single, I said, I just need to figure myself out. I genuinely need to know why I did what I did, and like, regroup myself as a human being. Shepard asked if she'd forgiven herself. She said, you know, it's been so long that I feel like enough time has gone by. She also said there was no bad blood between her and Culkin now, saying, I think enough mutual friends have been like, everybody kind of forgave everybody for what went down. In a candid interview with host Dax Shepard, the Jupiter Ascending starlet later revealed the circumstances surrounding her surprise announcement to her mother Elvira that she was dating Ashton. She said, We were driving up Laurel Canyon, and I was like, Mom, I have to tell you, I'm dating somebody. She then added, and she was like, Oh, tell me, who are you dating? And I was like, You've got to brace yourself for this one. I'm dating Ashton Kutcher. She then added, and she literally was like, Shut the f up, in Russian. The Black Swan actress suspected that the bad publicity surrounding Kutcher's divorce from Demi Moore might have had an impact on her mom's reaction. She said, he was coming off of a divorce. He was post, 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 way post divorce. But I think there was a lot of misconceptions about the divorce. Before adding, we were crazy neurotic about keeping it a secret. Probably to a massive fault, where we alienated so many friends, I'm sure. These remarks led fans to believe Kunis had cheated on Culkin, especially since other rumors suggested Kutcher had cheated on Moore with Kunis. However, neither rumor is supported by evidence, and neither relationship appears to have overlapped with Kunis and Kutcher's. There were also rumors that Culkin had not handled the breakup well. Some speculated that he appeared unhealthy and blamed the breakup. According to sources, Kunis contacted Culkin and begged him for assistance. In the end, we don't know how much of this is true, but it doesn't appear that Kunis regrets her relationship with Culkin in the least. In fact, it appears that they had a fantastic relationship, which was fantastic for what it was at the time. Growing up in the business, they needed and helped each other, but they weren't meant to go any further. Kunis's only regret about the relationship is how it ended and her horrible role in it. What matters is that they both turned out okay in the end. They each have their own families and there is no ill will between them. However, we're curious as to how their relationship ended. 
that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.